we have the luxury of, of having uh, over 400 acres of what I call Disney World for athletes. What we've been able to accomplish over a long period of time um, is to create an environment where we can really develop the total athlete. Anywhere from you know, on the field training to the classroom training, to a 15,000 square foot weight room. Yeah! You put all those together, and if you go about it the right way, you can develop a pretty good athlete. That's how we train him around here, kid. Just knowing the, his kind of track record in the past few years, um, working with guys like Cam and, and Christian Ponder, um, and a guy who's been there himself. You know, he won the Heisman Trophy, he played in the, in the league for, for several years. I'm a coach that builds a player from the ground up, so I, I preach footwork first and foremost. Short, choppy steps, keep a good, solid foundation. Come on, get up. a boy. Good, good, good. That a way to use the football. Get up in there. Ryan is, is a special talent. I watched Ryan in college. I've watched all of his film and I evaluated him. You know, here's a former receiver uh, at Texas A&M, great athlete, only started 19 games at the quarterback position in college. I knew that I was going to have to work with him in terms of being able to help him continue to develop and get ready for the NFL. Slide. Slide. Up. Slide. You know, Coach Winky's always saying, be light on your feet. You know, cut the grass and, and you don't want to hear your feet chopping the ground. Okay, trust it now, right? With the, with the arrow foot, trust it. What I found with Ryan was that mechanically, uh, he was pretty sound. There were a few minor things that we did with his footwork, as well as his lower half to be able to get his upper half in position. So that's not 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, that's like 12 o'clock to 8 o'clock, right? Passing the football is rhythm and timing. And once a quarterback understands that everything has to work together, much like a synchronized swimming team, everything has to be working together, and if it's not, it doesn't look right. Wow. That's everything working together. That a boy. When you evaluate a guy at the quarterback position in, in terms of getting ready for the NFL, I want to know if the guy can throw the ball deep down the field. I want to know if he can throw a deep comeback from the opposite hash. Good ball flight here. Trust it. Let it go. I want to know if he can step up in the pocket and drive a 20-yard in route. Up, oh, up, oh, over. That a boy. But then I want to see if the guy can throw the ball with anticipation because that's what you have to do at the NFL level. There it is. Down the hallway. Good. Very good. It's a big boys game in the NFL and you have to be able to make all the throws to, to play in the league. So. I feel like that, that I have the arm strength and the ability to, to make all the throws. He's one of probably the best quarterbacks I've ever worked with. Not only from a physical standpoint, but from the way that he understands the game. We know what we got. We know middle field's closed. We should be good outside. Nine guys inside. Trust them. Let it fly. Very nice. At the end of the day, you know, I can't control who, who's going to take me, where they're going to take me. I'm going out there and uh, trying to become better, working hard every day. I know he's excited about the opportunity to, to show what he can do to all 32 NFL teams, and I anticipate he's going to be one of the top picks in the NFL draft. So go work on three. One, two, three. Go, go work. work.